Hi, Jeff Lawton here. And um, this is uh, early morning Zaytuna farm um, in the rainy season. We've definitely got cloud cover. And um, I'm going to show you what we can do with just a small herd of cows, uh, cell grazing through a complex permaculture design system. So let's go and have a look. We are setting up a temporary fence. We're in summer, we've got good rains, extreme growth, and uh, we've got a complex curved patterned landscape and uh, it's difficult to fence. But if we go around with electric fence and uh, we've got temporary treading posts like this, it's a lot, lot easier. And here we've got some recycled inner tube. We just cut rings off a, a scrap car inner tube. We get them for free. And we've tensioned the fence in the corner against a clump of bamboo here. So we've got kind of spring-loaded fencing. Now we've got a laneway here and we've hooked up to the laneway. And we've got what we call bag up cells for the nursery, which we use for uh, the milking cows after they've been milked. We uh, give them half an hour to three quarters of an hour to uh, bag up with extra milk before we release their calves, which have been penned up overnight. Because it just means they can put on some extra milk before the hungry calves come and hit them up. But at this time of year, we've got so much growth, we can graze it off with a herd of beef cows plus our dairy cows. Here's the end of our fence and we're just hooked up here to our electric laneway. It's actually hard steel wire at the bottom and it's just a placebo white tape at the top, not electrified. And from here, the end of our temporary fence goes off, keeping the cows off the food forest we're just working on, but they'll open up this drain, which will need to be operating well soon because the big rains are coming. So they'll clean that drain, they'll clean around that polytunnel, and then they'll also clean the inside of the swale. So it's all linked up. This is linked up between these small paddocks, which we call the bag up cells, to the laneway, coming round to a gate right by the dairy, and they're in one of the bag up cells. They've been in there yesterday and last night, and they're complaining, they've run out of feed. They really want to get in amongst some better growth. And right here, what a lot of permaculture people need to realize is you can design a system and graze the inside of the swales. Now, in this climate, swales can get pretty overgrown at this time of year when we've got, you know, we've got our warm temperatures and our good rains. This is subtropic, so we have wet summers, warm, wet summers. Now, we need to clear out any choking of these swales at this time of year because big rains are coming and we can graze it off and fill it full of cattle manure nutrient. And we can still put them into the laneway at night and gather all their night manure in a convenient way. So we're using our cows to graze, clear, they're benefiting from, from the event, but we're also moving them at night to a small area. They, they get used to that and they'll actually drop all their manure in one place. So here we can easily go around and pick it up. Uh, we've got a blue bin a bit further up near our dairy, and we're capturing about 400 litres of manure every week. That's very, very good for growing systems. Now just a quick look along here because it's all gonna change, and I'll document it over the next day, maybe two days maximum. Our guys are just uh, finishing fencing. All done, guys? Yeah. Ready to let them out. So we're actually coming up against another grazing system next door. There's Muscovy ducks and an electric net. So we've got <laughs> duck, duck maintained swale on this side. And our electric net nearly comes right up against our temporary electric fence. And they're Muscovy ducks, which are actually genetically really geese, because they do graze, like geese graze. They just started work on this section. But at this end, they've just moved. This looked exactly the same about 10 days, two weeks ago. We've cleaned it up a bit and we've interplanted it with a buffering of trees. What we've really done is we've used the ducks to favor the plants we want and disfavor the plants we don't want. So it's literally gone from that, which looks nice and in control, from that. <laughs> <laughs> that weedy looking food forest there 
is exactly what this looked like uh, less than two weeks ago, let's say. Here's our reels. These are our electric reels. They're hooked up on the fence there. No nothing's on at the moment. Everybody's being well behaved. They've got a lot of Singapore daisy here. I grow it as a ground cover, perennial ground cover. Daisies being high in calcium are very good for the animals. Also, we have a lot of hangover mulberry here. So I'm sure they're going to get the mulberry and they'll prune it off. Uh, but they'll manure the mulberry. Here we have ice cream bean. They're definitely going to eat that. Only the bits they can reach. We'll show you the event as it happens. And right now, we're ready to release the animals into action. Here you go, girls. Well, girls and one guy. But there they go. They've gone straight down the swale. They're very happy. They love this uh, section. And we've got arrowroot all along the fence. They're going to chew all that off. And then nutrient-rich manure will be dropping in that swale. And then when we get uh, good rain, that'll dilute and flood all the way through the swale. So there you go. I'll keep you posted with the cows. I'll keep you posted with the ducks. I just want to show you different ways you can work to set up and work with and put animals to work and put systems to work and put plants to work in a way that the elements that you assemble create a permanent system that goes on indefinitely.